I literally look like somebody mama. I don't know what I want. I don't know where I'm trying to go. I don't know what direction to take. I don't know. Hey y'all. I just got the idea or the notion to like sit there and just do like a spend a night with me type video. So y'all are going to be spending the night with me as a 23 year old living in her own apartment. It is 7.06. Today I was running errands. I was trying to do a hygiene video. I really don't know how that's going to turn out. So when I get out of the shower, I'm going to try to see if that video came together. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do with that footage. But nonetheless, I feel like poop. I'm not going to lie. I feel like today it's... I'm not gonna keep speeding it. Today it just it started off okay and then it went on to like I got aggravated and then you know when you get aggravated and then other things start aggravating you like you drop stuff and you get aggravated and that just like kept progressing and progressing. So I figured that hygiene shopping and stuff would help me to feel better. It did not but it is okay. So tonight I'm gonna be using some of the products that I bought just to see like what it's working with. I'm gonna try to do like a nice behind shower you know i'm near my legs i was supposed to do that a few days ago but i didn't feel like it was enough hair for that for real until i got in the shower and i seen it, i was like oh i should have did that i got this nightgown that i got from fashion nova that i'm gonna try to put on i'm gonna cook some salmon and mashed potatoes and broccoli and then yeah i'm probably vent a little bit about what's going on but that's for later on i don't want that i don't want this video to be like sad and down or whatever i don't think i've ever done one of these videos before like in my head i want to do like an aesthetic video for like a night routine but i really don't have a night routine if i'm gonna be honest like i take my shower i eat and i lay in my bed on my phone yeah before we get started make sure that you like comment and subscribe and let's get into the video i usually don't like buy multiple body washes because i'm just like asia like you have enough body washes like literally look i have this dove one it's probably like right here i have this other dove one and that's probably like i like down here somewhere and then i have this olay one that i rarely use but it smells really good it smells really good but yeah, and then I have Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret shower gels and stuff that I barely use. It's like I switch them so they don't run out as quick. I was like, I want to try something new, you know, whenever you're in your feelings, sometimes you, you do a little bit more than you was planning to do. So this was already on the list. It's the Natrium Glycolic Acid one. Yeah, I'm just going to try it. I wasn't really influenced when, because you know, when whenever stuff first comes out, people just hype it up, hype it up, hype it up. But I was like, okay, some time has gone by. Some people still say it's okay. So I was like, I'm gonna try it. I know glycolic acid is good for like hyperpigmentation, ingrowns and all that stuff. I love hygiene products. I get that from my mom. Um, but I just got this ingrown hair serum. So that has glycolic acid too. And it's been doing pretty good. I made myself get this y'all. Like y'all know from my other hygiene videos, I I was against method because it just, it wasn't giving what it needed to give. But I think it's because I went to Walmart and they only be having like three, three cents. So I tried this from Target and it's the acai. That's what I said because I just had an acai bowl. I said, uh, acai bowl. But it's the berry balance one. So it smells fruity and I like fruity scents. So I was like, let me try it. In my opinion, this is just me just going off of what it looks like and stuff. It does not look. Like, it's going to last on me. Like, that's why I was just like, mm, but I'm just trying it because I'm looking for something to help me, to, well, to help last longer than just when I get out of the shower, you know. But then I went to Walmart. And unexpectedly, this just popped out at me. This one just popped out at me. It's the Dove uh, Snow Blossom. And it's limited edition. So I was like, let me, let me. It smells really good, so I don't know which one I'm gonna use tonight. I really don't. I might, I might take one tonight and then take one tomorrow and like try both of them. This will be in my hygiene video if it does come out. But the lotion that I got is the pomegranate raspberry, and usually I would do I get the fresh cozy or the vanilla cashmere, but this one smelled kind of sort of like the berry, so I was just like, okay, let me. It smelled. It smells very much like berries yeah i just want to like smell good look good feel good and i'm gonna eat good so um 
yeah so i'm gonna start narrowing my legs and stuff just so that can be going on in the background and then we will go ahead well i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower yeah before we get started make sure that you like comment and subscribe and let's get into the video i literally look like somebody mama let's see if this is this is literally this i don't mm -mm, can't do it okay so I just got done with my shower. It's like eight something now. That was pretty long. I'm not gonna lie, or it felt pretty long because it was just seven something. I used the Method body wash, and I want to return it. So I hope that Target allows me to return it because it's just like when you smell it, it smells very fruity. But then when I got in the shower with it, it was giving a smell that I didn't want to smell. You know, it wasn't giving that same like super fruity type scent um but the lotion made up for it like i feel all good and nice and luscious i put the vaseline oil on and then i put the eos lotion on and i feel pretty good yeah my legs are very smooth so yeah i i'm in a better mood than i was welcome to my kitchen where i am about to show y'all how i do what i do i am no chef but and while my food is getting compliments it's just like i don't know like my food is good but it's not like exquisite yet i guess i have to start putting my touches in the food and i feel like i'm starting to taste it and stuff to get the flavor and all that stuff to see what i want and what i don't want but it's just not fully there yet and one of my not fully there yet meals is the salmon so with the salmon I'm doing too much talking, but with the salmon, I feel like I over season it. Like, I, I'm the type of person where if it doesn't look like fully covered or whatever, I don't feel like it's fully seasoned. If it's not like fully, I don't want to say crispy, but when stuff is well done, that's when I feel like it's done. If it's not well done, then I don't feel like it's done. But that's just me. That's just me. So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to start prepping these potatoes because I want to get those boiled while I'm making the salmon. Hopefully this goes by pretty quick, pretty easy because I am hungry. I only had waffles and turkey bacon and then an acai bowl a few hours ago. So I don't want to get hangry on y'all. make some like honey butter yeah honey butter sauce for my salmon it tastes like i don't want to say it tastes like chicken but yeah it i don't how do you season salmon correct because that's the same seasoning that i use for my chicken which makes sense like as to why Oh, you 
got off the phone I had to have I had to have a little venting session so did that I'm feeling a little bit better ish I'm gonna tell y'all like what's been going on I don't I don't want to call it a life update because I haven't really been open on my page for real for real I haven't been that open on social media in probably some years, but I feel like that's because like if you if you scroll all the way down to when I first started my channel or whatever, I was trying to like give advice and all that stuff. But then I was dealing with somebody and they were super private. So I feel like I became super private as well. And I'm trying to get back out there a little bit, but it's not it's not going the best of ways. Something that was going on with me or lately, I'm not gonna claim the D word. You know, I'm not going to claim the seasonal D word or whatever. But ever since time changed, I have not been feeling it. I haven't been feeling working out. I haven't been feeling uh, doing anything for real. I haven't been feeling like working. And it sucks. I literally moved here with the intentions of like taking it up a notch. And I'm not because I'm not feeling like taking it up a notch. And I know that that's where the whole discipline and all that stuff comes in at. But I... I haven't made myself be disciplined in a while. Like, I know that I need to be disciplined and all that stuff, but I'm just like, I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. Y'all don't know me like that, but okay, I'm going to try to make it make sense. Basically, my main goal for the past few years was to move to Atlanta, right? So, I had nothing really else on my plate or on my goal list besides moving to Atlanta. Like, that was, that was the tippity-top the number one thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to move here so that I can start training and dance. I haven't danced for real in a long, 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 long time. Like, ever since I started my stretching stuff, I put dancing on the back burner. Um, and it sucks. But I'm just like, do I even want to still dance? And I'm just like, I don't know. I did a dance class a few weeks ago. Barely, but... I did I, I went and um yeah I enjoyed it but it's just I still have to get up and keep going and going and going and training and training and training and I'm so used to training everybody else that I'm not training myself or that I haven't been training myself around the summer of last year my business started taking off um and it took off in a way that I, I'm super grateful for but I didn't know what to do with it like I'm literally figuring stuff out as I'm going like I don't have I have my friends, clients, parents to give me advice, but I don't have like somebody that's in my field to know or to give me instructions on how to do it or what to do. So I'm just like, I'm doing it. I'm a stretch coach. If you don't know, I don't feel like, like selling, speaking about my business, but I'm a stretch coach. I'm a traveling stretch coach. I literally was just going, 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 going 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 no plan no nothing like I have no I still to this day have no clue where I want to go with my business and I feel like that's something that that is affecting me at this point in time because I'm pretty much a goal-oriented person I don't even want to say that for real but I don't feel the thing that makes me happy is accomplishing stuff the thing that makes me happy is accomplishing goals so when I'm not then I'm just like, Ugh. but right now I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know where I'm trying to go. I don't know what direction to take. I don't know. Like my field is not a field where it's like there's an end goal. Somebody who's in law school or whatever, sometimes their goal is to have a law firm. And I, I'm a stretch coach. I don't know what to do with you know besides keep training people the way that I have yeah I feel like that's taking a toll on me that's like causing me to not have too much motivation like I love what I do I'm appreciative I love my clients I love everything about it but I'm just like what's next you know like I have things that I want to do but I'm just I don't have the energy or the motivation to just do it right now so that's why I took my little vacation 
to try to figure my life out and it hasn't been working i'm not gonna lie like i literally i've just been on my phone that's another one of my problems i'm always on my phone i don't want to say it's an addiction but it very much could be it's very much i wake up i say my little prayer on my phone i'm in the bathroom on my phone i'm cooking i need to check my phone i need to check my notifications i need to do this i need to do that and i've done the social media breaks and i just it just keeps happening over and over again so i don't know and then it's another thing when it's like for business like if i didn't have a business or whatever i would understand like i bump the phone or whatever but if my business is through my phone i have to make content i have to post i have to do emails i have to do a whole bunch of stuff on my phone i i moved here um and now i've just hit the phase where i'm just bored you know and i want a puppy i really 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 want a puppy i genuinely want one like at first because the dude that i was messing with before he had a puppy and we kind of started raising her together and she was she was a lot and i was just like i don't want to do that right now i really don't and i really don't want to like raise a puppy right now but i feel like i want a companion i want somebody here with me that i can have like to entertain me and stuff like i'm not ready for the full responsibility of it but if I want the puppy, then I have to, like, accept it. One of the main reasons why I'm not getting a puppy is because of work. And I can't, I can't raise, like, I want a newborn puppy. Like, I want whenever they can come from the breeder or give them out the shop, I want it, like, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. But I want that type of newborn puppy. I don't want just, like, a one-year-old dog or whatever. So, I have to raise it. I have to give it a lot of attention. I have to be here to actually get the puppy like used to the space and all that stuff but since i'm not really stable in my location at the moment then i feel like i can't do that right now so yeah that's pretty much why i was a little down today i um i don't want to say it's a lot that i have to figure out but i really need to pray so i just got a journal a journal 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 from off amazon and it's pink of course so i'm gonna do that tonight so that i can get some of what i'm feeling out because i feel like i haven't released stuff yeah that's the what that's the word i haven't released stuff i've i've kind of like acknowledged the feeling and then just kept moving on in my life like i'm not gonna worry about that like bump it okay whatever some days i have these days where i'm just like bleh but i don't want to stay blue, you know so i thought that doing my hair and getting my nails and going shopping and all that stuff would help me to feel better and to an extent it did but then again like internally it didn't so um yeah i'm gonna pray now is the time where i'm literally just in the bed scrolling doing like business stuff watching tv watching youtube trying to plan for tomorrow tomorrow i have to go and get some get my thank you cards for my business so i can start putting that back in my packages because i was doing the most where i was just emailing i have to figure out when people work so when people stuff is getting delivered and then i would have to email them a few days after i ship yep so i'm just going back to the uh easy way and i'm supposed to go and eat lunch and go to the gym and yeah i'm gonna probably edit because i have like two three videos that's on the back burner right now so i gotta figure that out but um i know i said it was gonna be like a spend the night with me but i'm literally just finna journal and chill and i don't want to waste no more storage i feel like this video did pretty good you know i I cooked, I showered, I vented, and all that stuff. So, yeah, so next time I'll probably have things to do. But today, since it was just one of those days, I don't have too much to do. Or I'm not trying to force myself to do too much. I just want to relax. So, yeah, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore y'all too much. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too. And thanks for watching.